Hi. Hi. Welcome <laughs> to the Little Red Mitten Podcast. Okay, to the podcast and to the Little Red Mitten. I'm Jolyn. I'm Jillian. And we are here at the Little Red Mitten in St. Thomas, Ontario, Canada. Okay. So I'm going to do whips and FOs and then a little bit of in-store things. Yeah. Okay. You, you go went first. I went first last time. Are we doing... We're going to do whips first? Yeah. I should have done this so it wasn't so... Okay. So whips. New whip. <laughs> Cast it on at swimming lessons today. Not my swimming lessons. My kids' swimming lessons. That would be interesting. Um, Magna Flora. That's cute. Um, Kelly from Mits and Pieces. Mits and Pieces podcast. podcast. Um, made one and it was really pretty. So I went and bought the same kind of yarn as her. <laughs> same color. Um, same color and everything. Yeah. yeah. And cast it on. I think I'm. I'm. She. I think she used worsted or the regular. Um, line from Sandscarn. Um, but this is the fingering weight. This one. is a sport weight one. They didn't have the color that I wanted or any colors that I liked, so I'm just holding this one double, and it should be the same sort of gauge. I'm not swatching, but I think it's really pretty. I think it should go pretty fast. Um, because. Some big needle. It's yeah, it's on like well the pattern says five and a half, so I'm doing it five because I'm usually pretty tight. Yeah. Um and it's short sleeves and it's cropped and yeah, so all yeah. those sort of things. Um so yeah, so I started that. I've been wanting to do it. I was gonna start it last night and then I completely forgot. <laughs> been so tired. Goodies from swimming lessons. <laughs> he finished his do you finish his uh, swimming lessons? This uh, is what Jillian just pulled out of the bag, and I had no idea where we were going with a shark sticker and two tiny lollipops. <laughs> Nowhere. They're just geos. Yes. <laughs> I brought this bag of what I brought to swimming lessons with me, yeah. so everything was just in it. Um, chickens. Um, chickens, okay. Oh, is that a heart? Oh yeah, I did it as a heart. So that's the start of it. Yeah. And then is that the same yarn? That's not the same yarn. Is that the same yarn? No, that one's not. But um so I did it as a heart and then did a square around it. Because mm -hmm. I thought, oh, maybe it would when you put them together, it would look more like a wing. Oh yeah. Right? But it doesn't, I think when you put it together, it's not in the right place. Mm-hmm. So I think what I have to do is change where I make the square. So I'm just gonna have to play with it a little mm. bit and adjust where the square goes so that the, the heart's not the like heart's square. Like, so that the it, heart's wonky in the square. Yeah. So I was playing with that, and then when it didn't work, I just stopped. And I also thought that the blue might have shown a little bit better, but it didn't. Like it's hard to see the heart. Mm -hmm. I tried to pick up on the. You almost need the heart to be like a solid. That's yeah, or I have to do like a like a cream or something maybe. Yeah. Um, I tried to pick up just the back loop of every stitch when I picked mm -hmm. them up, so it would kind of define the heart a little bit more. But I'll try. I have to try it again, so I'll rip it out and um, do. I'll try it. Do the like, chicken here? Wonky. The one you showed last time. Um, it's in the back. Do you want me to keep showing whips, or do you want? I have one more. Might as well just finish it. They're all just small things. Um, the <laughs> crochet emojis for the smiley face. So I have the second one. I want to make earrings with them, of course. <laughs> but I can't decide if I want to, like, because you can see the back of it. I don't know if I care about that. Like, I think if I put it on an earring, it should, like, stay okay not yeah. like not flip around so i might just do that mm -hmm. um also then while i was driving in the car and thinking about it, i was like oh i could add fringe to the bottom of it too you could cool. totally crochet it into a hoop earring oh like, yeah you, you know how you, you could attach it around to, like that. macrame stuff you yeah. could like totally yeah anyway so i have the second one to finish 
And if I'm doing it back, like I'm going to, if I'm going to back it, I think I would make them smaller if I was going to back it. Cause it just makes them really, yeah. Really if you thick, did it into a hoop, I like the hoops fine. that the normal hoops that hang this way, then the back would stay against you and it would be facing out. Yeah. Which would be cute. Well, I guess I have to go to the bead store again. For what? To find hoop earrings? Yeah. Why don't you just go through your earrings? I don't know that I have. Oh, I guess some of the ones from last year, maybe. Yeah, you don't have those hoops regularly? No. I have, like, small ones. Anyway, so that's a little emoji stuff that we shared on the newsletter. So I had done mine because I like green, so I didn't do it in yellow. But I'm going to make them into earrings, so I just need to finish the second one. I think I'm only, like... I might even almost be done. I might only be like a half around from finishing, but I think I wanted it for taking photos and stuff. Mm. I'm either like, I think I wanted a half rounds maybe left to do. And then deciding what I want to make on the other side. If I, I want to make pull out my smiley faces projects. or not. Her crochet round. So that's, I can't the, believe we're like, a lot more. Lips. on the day we're recording, we're like 11 days into July already. And, yeah, crazy. Ridiculous. All right. That's all I have for whips right now. Okay. Mine will look like a repeat of last. I didn't bring my other one because I have hardly worked on it too, which is what last I said last week. time. Do you want my drink to drink? <laughs> a little sip. Do I just need to grab this? Seriously? That's where you left it? Come on, man. It's ready to draft the toe. <laughs> so, for sock done, I guess. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> if I say that, though, it will sit like this forever, so it's not quite done. Just, just it's, it's still, it's, there's still tails and Just grafting. scraft it tonight, like, when we're done. Okay. So, yeah. That is, is this pattern out? No. Okay, that's... I can work on it today. Yeah, both of them are. I tried to fix it the other day. Um, I will try and work on that today so that it's done and ready for okay. this time for real when we, Katrina does. When it's right on the pocket. Hopefully this pattern will be up and ready for you. We will have information below. If it is, if not, give us another week. <laughs> um, so that's one of the things I've worked on since the last time we recorded. Um, I had this cast on. Yeah, you like it. yeah. You only had like you probably yeah. had like less than half of that. Is what you've got now. Yeah, for sure. It was like yeah, because I think I had cast it on the night before we recorded. Um, so this is a cowl, just a really plain cowl, and with slub and surrey silk, and yeah, it's coming along. So Leon Roxy fun. slub and Leon Roxy yes surrey. Um, which the future, future Surrey, future Surrey, it's not available yet. Um, uh, hopefully it'll be ready to be available in August. Um, yeah, now I just want to wear it again. Any other whips? Uh, no, that's it for whips. All right. How many FOs do you have? I have one. Do you, I have two. Cool. Do you want to do both of them or do you want to switch back to it? Do both of them. Okay, well, these ones don't count as one. These count as one. I made a flock oh my of chickens. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> well, yeah, it is tricky. This one's got a wonky eye, and I actually haven't finished its tail, but I don't care. Um, This one doesn't have eyes because I can't find my beads. And this one's complete. They're so cute. Mm. So is... even though I said I wasn't going to make any more chickens, I was like, I don't need any more chickens. This one's left over from the granny squirt that's in the shawl that I made for Leon Roxy. Mm, yeah. Uh, except for the orange. I guess I added the orange or whatever. But. Yeah. <laughs> it's fun. This is, okay, so remember, it was probably um, maybe last year in Montreal or the year before, two years ago, Montreal, when we went and we I bought embroidery thread from Trailhead. Hmm. And they had like the rainbow ones, like the little spools. Mm -hmm. And so like, they were like sort of variegated and stuff like that. Yeah. So that's what this is. I made it like this. I used like the same hook size. Yeah. Um, and it used up quite a bit of thread for it. Um, but I think that if I had, I could do it at a much smaller gauge and it would make my little mini earring ones. So maybe I'll 
But look at his tail. His tail is so cute. Rainbow. That's really cute. So, I have now four chickens. Oh, that's not true. Oh, shoot. I made a fourth one, fifth one, for Geo out of... I brought the ball band, but then I forgot to grab it out of Geo's room. Out of Ginger Snaps yarn when they were here, I bought oh. the Glow uh, Black Light Reactive. Yeah. I'll get a picture. Um, so, it's black, and then it has yellow pink and orange bits in it so it's just like whatever mm -hmm. um so i made one like that for geo um so he has that in his room he has a not a black light well he does have a sort of yeah, uv light he, you keep talking um but he has some like just like our string lights like the ribbon lights or something like that that go across okay yeah it just changed the lights I don't know if you'd see that flickering though. Yeah, you can't see it on here, but it doesn't mean, it doesn't mean that in one the of the light bulbs is flickering. I did try last week to, I loosened it actually and it made it stop, but it doesn't seem to be working. I should have brought the light bulbs back. I have light bulbs at home. And then one of these ones was doing it too. Anyway, so I will get a picture of that and then put that in so you can see that one. So I now have five chickens. And I still want to make my earrings. Is that all oh, your and then in? that was my six. Those are, I have one more whip, one more FO. Okay, go. So this one I started a long, long time ago and it's been sitting on the loom. I finished my blanket. So I started this in like end of January, beginning of February. Yeah. And finally finished it this week while we were on blanket. vacation. It's a shawl. It's not yeah. a blanket. I did it on the 32-inch loom. Mm -hmm. The whole width. So I did it as wide as I could. Yeah. But it fits nicely over my... Um, you're probably not going to be able to see it if I will, maybe. I think it fits nicely like this. So yeah. like in the, in the store, it's going to be perfect. I think I'm going to put like a button or one of those snap like things here so it yeah. like stays on. But it will keep my neck warm. Like it's a perfect length for like a, just like a, a shawl or, a, or putting it over top, of. right? Yeah. So I'm very happy with it. There's it's really nice. I had to come into the store like twice to get things to finish. <laughs> I ran out of the um like the rag color. Mm -hmm. And I had like a tiny like ball like of scrap or whatever, but it wasn't enough. Like I still think I still had to do like a full half in section but like hardly used any of it yeah i haven't weighed it yet so i'm not sure how much it used but i still have a whole bunch left over so three four five six i used seven balls mm -hmm. but didn't use all of them yeah so i'll have to weigh it still anyway that's awesome finally finished that's really cool. i didn't because i didn't touch it like once i brought it home i think i did it a yeah. little bit at the beginning right and it just sat in my house and then it took me like two days to finish it at home i did i took it outside and put it on the porch yeah and just did it in the sun and stuff so i finished my hat yay i showed this last time it's a traveler hat by andrea mowry and i finished it and I don't want to put it on, and Jillian doesn't want to put it on, and it's hot in here. <laughs> you can put it on a is, mannequin or something later. Um, so this pattern has a fingering weight and a worsted weight version, and I did the worsted weight, but I used basics, Leo and Roxy basics, held double, and then also held with a third strand of just uh, mm -hmm. mohair. So I think this is Silver Streak um, basics, is Silver Streak basics, and Meredith mohair. So very nice so it's done have you did you try it on before like does it fit nice i put it on my head but i didn't look in the mirror or anything <laughs> hmm. i'm sure it's fine we'll take a look we'll take a picture maybe it's very nice yeah it's really soft really squishy so that's it that's all i've worked on um yeah i don't think anything else even got a stitch so yeah like on our week off I made a bunch of chickens. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much the only thing I touched. And then I did my weaving. And that was it. That's it. I haven't been working on my, my crochet top is like boring because it doesn't change color. And so it's just like 
double crochets all the way across and all the way back. And so it's like boring to work on. I you know what I'm saying? Pulled, there at night, I like it's went like, looking for my different crochet. Like I still need to pull out all my whips and do a whip yes. thing. Yeah. Um, but I should have went looking for all my crochet um, stuff. Yeah. But like, yeah, it's, we're 11 days into July already. It's ridiculous. But I do have crochet whips started. So that's what I should do first. I shouldn't start something new. No, you should at least pick find one of them or whatever. Yeah. I don't even can't even think of any of your what your crochet ones are. <laughs> I, I can think of a couple, but I don't know how many there are. There's maybe three or four. Not not a not a huge amount compared to how many whips yeah. I do have started. <gasps> Ooh, I have that big blanket. No, I need to do a bag. That's what I was gonna ask. One minute to opening the store. Oh shoot, that clock is wrong. I was going by the clock mm -hmm. top. Well, Pam can open the store and she can come in and it's fine. Okay. Um, okay, so we have a couple things for Leo and Roxy. Um, yeah. Yeah. Did we talk about this at all last I time? I don't think we talked. I don't think we've talked about it at all. Really? Yeah, that's why I was like, what? Was the last time the first time we recorded? Nope. No, it was the second time. It was the before. second time. So okay. we would have had it for both. I think so, yeah. Um... Leo and Roxy's Advent is up, and it is super fun. Um, so it's the Awkward as Flock Advent, um, and it's going to be where everybody's is different or potentially different. Mm -hmm. There will be 24 random colors from our collection um, pick, picked at random. So um, we'll have them pre-wrapped, and we're just going to pick them for you and you yep. get a random mix of minis um so you get your minis um and a tote bag and an embroidery um kit with some hand dyed embroidery yarn so i think this is going to be awesome we have a couple yeah. pickup locations to save on shipping um you'll be able to pick up here at the little red mitten it's uh, available on the website to choose pick up here at the little red mitten after october 31st at the KW Knitters Fair on September 14th, um, at Knit City Calgary on August 17th and 18th, and then in Woolstock, at Woolstock in Paris, Ontario on October 19th. So you can save a little bit of money by picking it up at one of those locations. There's Oops. info about, both, about it on both websites. Yeah, but Leo and Roxy's got the... I think Leo and Roxy has all the different pickup options. Yes, Mitten would just be, you could pick it up here or choose yeah. or choose the ship. Yeah. And then you mentioned Calgary, so you'll be at the Knit City Calgary, August 17th and 18th. Sounds right. <laughs> so if you're out that way. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, I think it'll be fun. Yeah, I think it'll be fun too. I liked Calgary last time I went to last year. Mm -hmm. um, it was at Knit City, I just went to Calgary. I went to... Um, Stash did a trunk show at Stash Lounge, and mm -hmm. um, he really enjoyed the city. So I look forward to seeing a little bit more of it. And yeah, I think it will be fun. Yeah. Um. Mm, okay. So you may have oh, seen I'll be right back. we with Leo and Roxy. I started to do a Throwback Thursday. Um, so. Um, the goal is every other Thursday to put up a throwback color that I haven't dyed in a while. And a couple weeks ago, it was Grape Ape. And uh, the first time this had been back out from year one, like six years since I dyed it last, uh, was for Knit City Toronto. And now we put it out as our first throw as the first throwback Thursday. So there it is on slub and on sock. And then the second one is summer sky. And again, this hasn't been out since like 2018. Um, it's the first time I've dyed it since then. And I think I only dyed it a, a handful of times, maybe, maybe twice. Um, I do remember it, but I, um, I don't think it was ever 
out, you know. Yeah, I haven't looked. You looked at the I looked, I'm going to look again. I yeah. looked to see if I can just find a previous photo of it. But. Yeah, I found it in Sandy's stash, and I'm pretty sure Mary Lou made a sweater out of it. I don't see it, but I'm pretty sure she did. So that is Summer Sky. So that's a throwback Thursday. So it's really fun going through my recipe book and finding which colors to dye. If you have any requests mm -hmm. um, of throwback colors that you'd like to see come back, um, comment them below. Good. Look there for yeah. options of ones to go and find. Right now I've been going to the furthest ones back, really, um, and, and ones I want to <laughs> do. So I'm kind of going to the beginning of my dye book and choosing choosing colors from that first the first year yeah. and um then whichever ones stand out to me but yeah if you have any recommendations i would love to hear them then i'll put them on my list so that's that um so for the mitten we have a couple things coming up there's a crochet -a thon which is the 20th, I think that's a Saturday. I don't know where my phone is. Mm -hmm. um, the 20th, next Saturday. So that's next Saturday, depending on when this comes out, for the 20th. So coming and just crocheting all day long. We'll have some games and prizes and fun things like that mm -hmm. going on. And then um, also... Oh, semi-annual sale. We uh, have our semi-annual sale starting here at the Little Red Mitten. That's... I guess starting... It will be started whenever this goes up. Yeah. And then, but that weekend we'll have a sidewalk sale for it. Yes. Or that Thursday, Friday, Saturday, probably. Yeah. Uh, so at the same day as the crochet-a-thon. So, yeah. Yeah. So 18th, 18th 19th, 20th, um, we'll have a sidewalk sale. And yeah, there should be really good deals. Um, stuff that needs to be cleared out. Um... Yeah, so keep your eye on the sale page Summer and yarns. keep checking it. Discontinued yarns, discontinued yeah. bias yarns, all sorts of stuff. Yeah. And then we'll do that on the screen. Um, from last one. Yeah. Or, yes, which was uh, to go follow Pam. Yeah, to yeah, go follow so Pam and stuff. And on then the comment. last episode, we asked um, you to go follow Pam's a new yarn Instagram account. Um, fire. Bye. Fly, fire, fly haven fiber. <laughs> just my, my fun way of messing that one up. Um, um, Katrina told me not to forget, and then I totally forgot to go and do comments. But I'll do that now, and then we'll put it up on the screen. So we'll yes. announce the winner so that we'll, way, we'll, and we'll contact we'll show you. the winner up on the screen. So congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think that's everything for now. Yeah. Yeah, so if we think of something, I can put a little like picture up. Mm -hmm. that Katrina can add into it but we'll record again in a couple of weeks probably and yeah update you more there yeah that's good all right, all right. bye, bye. I also am confused so if I was looking at a person like I'm looking at me like okay, but I was that at side in the would mirror. be my left shoulder but it's my right, like, it's, so people I'm looking, backwards. But but people not, like, if Pam was on the other side looking, like, if we're looking in the mirror, then we would be flipped, I think is how we normally see it on the thing. Okay, so. But if Pam was looking at you're us. You're sitting beside me with your right shoulder here. Yes. And my right shoulder's. I'm on. But on the screen. I'm on the I'm, right. And if you go and stand over there, then I'd be on the right. Right, if you go up and stood behind the camera, like on the other side of the camera. No, you're sitting on the left. No. Well, then I don't know. Right? Left. You're sitting. Oh, I'm on the left. Yeah. But if you go and stand up there and you go and look at, but I'm sitting. Uh, this is. Because then people are going to be. I don't know. Like, if I'm trying to watch where I'm going, like, I'm never. It's like. <laughs> no, this is easier. Because, like, I'm moving it into the center. That makes more sense. Record it. Okay, now Katrina wants 30 seconds of silence. So she can get the ambient room thick. Are you ready? Go. <laughs> it's a fail. My belly gurgled right away. Okay, we have to start over. She wants to be able he to. He told me 30 so that we could get five. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> she originally said 30. And then my and then stomach like... goes gurgle right away. Yeah. And then I laugh. <laughs>
Um, there we go. This has been recording the whole time. So. Cool. And go. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs>